to install PostgreSQL I will search here in Google PostgreSQL and from here I will hit enter I mean I will search it or then uh, from here I will click on this first link and from here uh, you can see download button so I will click on this download button and then it will take me to this next page and here I will click on Mac OS and then I will click on this URL to download the installer and from here again I will you can see a Mac OS X option is here to download and you can download various versions here whatever you want so for a better I will use the latest version to understand better or to be with the flow with the latest uh, current things okay so here I have clicked to download and here I will click on allow and now it has started downloading so uh, let's wait for completion of this download now you can see the download is about to complete and now it's completed here I will click on this icon to open the finder and here you can see PostgreSQL uh, the DMG file so I will click on it to open it and then here I will click on it to start the installation okay so let me double click on it yeah, or like this open okay and now it has so now I will click on open button and here I will enter my password in the like system password to so start the installation I will click on ok and here uh, you can see it is doing some process and now you can see this is the setup UI so I will click on next here I will keep the same installation directory and then I will click on next and here you can see that we have four things PostgreSQL server for UI sorry not for UI this is actual SQL server PG admin is for accessing the SQL server from the UI and stack builder and command line tool also for accessing the database so now I will enter the password and this will be the like uh, super user password for the database PostgreSQL database so make sure to remember this password what you are going to enter here okay and now I will click on next and here port number then I will keep the default port number and then next and next and here again everything looks okay again now we will click on next button to start the installation and now you can see installation has started and now it's uh, running I mean it will complete the installation just wait for few seconds okay and now yeah it seems it will take few more minutes yeah you can see now it added as a background items added so we can also start it with the installation so let me click on finish here and here you can also set up it later but uh, let's see what is this thing here so a stack builder is basically to install other like uh, supported things related to PostgreSQL or, or any other like work you can also go ahead so let me first click on finish button here and again I need to enter the password here and, and to move forward for other uh, like uh, supported things installation but in this that is not a uh, scope of this video so what I will do I will just cancel that I will not install the other thing but you can see it is asking to select something else to install additional software okay but I am not going to do that right now uh, so I will click on cancel we can do it later from like ADB manager 
so i will cancel it and you can see yeah it is now cancelled now i will close this one and now i will go to the applications and here you can see pg admin 4 so just click on that now you can see waiting for pg admin 4 to start so it is basically I'm waiting to start and now you can see it has started but it is not a very common thing okay so you must need to wait for five minutes to start it or if not then you can restart the pg admin after five or ten minutes then you can it will definitely uh, like open this one screen so now here i will enter the password what i i mean this will be the master password basically to uh, like <laughs> I mean to connect to the database server so I have entered my password and here I will click on ok okay uh, it seems like it is incorrect okay let me enter again mm. so yeah now I can log in and you can see now it is asking the super user password to connect to the server so that I need to enter here what I insert I mean enter during the installation and now I will click I mean okay now I will click on ok and you can see uh, I can access the default database I mean it's not default database connecting it is the it, so database once we need to explore so this is the main ui where you can see server i mean resources taking things or all the graphs so now this is a database which is postgres it is by default created here okay so we can also create any other database as well okay uh, to do that just right click on post gray or database sorry and here you have create and here i will click on database and here i will enter the new database name as uh, for now i will add as text and then i will click on save so now the database is uh, okay we can also do two things just to check definition security SQL so we have this query which will be executed once I will click on save button Okay, so using query you can also create the database so Now I will click on save button And you can see database is created now Okay So this is the cost. Cost can be created like this. If you want to like check other things, so we can also check. So here we have the NoSQL could be generated from the selected project. So uh, this is a database and this will open the PSQL tool, this which will be the command line tool. To do the things okay to execute or run any SQL query basically post SQL query yeah this is the query window where we can write the query so that is all guys in this video uh, to i mean to i hope you have learned to install the postgresql so if you liked the video then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks thank you for watching